Flores and for today's video, I am going to discuss the rule of grammar subject verb agreement. And this rule of grammar subject verb agreement, it is contained a 24 rule and I will discuss it one by one. So keep watch because I am going to always remember the basic rule state the singular subject take a singular verb while a plural subject takes a plural verb. Note that verb change whatever its whatever its subject change in the number and person. And hint, verb do not form their plurals by adding an S as the nouns do. So rule number one. Two singular subject connected by or, or nor required a singular verb. We have here the following example. My aunt or my uncle is visiting the cattle farm today as we can see we have a linking verb is on the first example because we are tackling subject we are tackling singular subject second example Marta or Lazarus cultivates the land for a proposal crop production we have a singular verb cultivates a singular verb is one that has an s added to it on the present tense of the word of the word cultivate rule number two on the rule number two it's the same with the rule number one where two singular subject connected by either slash or or neither slash nor required a singular verb as in rule number one as we can see we have a linking verb is on the first example because we are tackling singular subject on the second example we have a singular verb promotes the singular verb is one that has s added in the present tense of the word promote number three on the rule number three when i is one of the two subject connected by either slash nor or neither slash nor put it in the second and follow it with the base form of the verb on the first sentence, as we can see, we put I on the second and follow it with a singular verb am. While on the second sentence, we put I second and follow it with the base form of verb from studying to study. And it is the same in the example number two. Two, from, from joining to join. Number four. When a singular verb is connected by or or nor to a plural subject, put the plural subject class and use a plural verb. For example, the shovel or the doll bolus are found in the cabinet. The second example is the principal nor teachers join the symposium about the green piggery. Um, as we can see, we have the following plural here. We have the following plural subject here, the doll bolus and the teachers. We put the plural subject class and use a plural verb or slash join. Shovel slash doll bolus slash principal teacher. Number five, when a singular and plural subject are connected by either slash or or neither slash nor put the plural subject class and use the plural verb for example neither the volunteer for the nor the social worker are prepared for community outreach the second president or constituent are aware of kaying former on the on the place we are on on the place as we can see in this two example in rule number five we have the plural verb prepared on the first second on the first sentence and another plural verb aware on the second sentence further furthermore we have a plural subject in both sentence one and two which is are rule number six as a general rule, use a plural verb with two 
one more different when they are connected by and to show to to show two different subject and a sentence the subject is usually introduced by possessive pronoun a possessive pronoun is a pronoun that is used to express ownership or possession for example mine yours here there the first examples is flora and fauna play an all significant roles to a human being the second global warming and climate change in candle the people to change in candle to people to change on the two examples give its subject is usually introduced by an article about flora and fauna and global warming and climate change number seven subject joined by mean by and 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 mean a single idea take a singular verb we have the following example number one my sister and confidente shows great support in my endeavors as a future agriculture agriculture second grilled ham and cheese is what we have of uh, is what often have for snack after our forest re forestry review class on the first example we have the singular verb shows on the second example we have a singular verb as number eight on the first subject we have the verb in a sentence interrupted with an intervening phrase introduced by including along with together with with as with as well as beside and etc the verb must still simple subject for example for example number one three planting as well as three parenting embrace the act of environmental protection second example is extensionist as long as we have a member of the team plans to extend the symposium on the first examples as you can see the verb agree with a simple subject three planting simple subject and embrace verb Rule number nine indefinite pronoun like each everyone everybody someone somebody anyone anybody nobody no one something either neither not one and anything are singular and required a singular verb do not miss out mislead by what follow off for example number one everyone in this class is very cons conversant about about vitro fertilization or ivf and the second example someone in this class is a product of cloning in this examples as we can see we use indefinite pronouns everyone further on the second example we have indefinite pronouns someone rule number 10 with a word that indicates portion percent fra fraction part majority some whole all none remainder and so forth look at the noun in the your phrase objective of preparation to determine whether to use a singular or pronoun verb if the object of the preposition is singular use a singular verb and if the plural use a plural verb for example one third of the city joined the greening project of dnr second example all of the speaker were asked to talk about the effect of illegal logging to humanity as we can see on the first example the object of preposition is plural which is one third so therefore use plur plural verb joins on the other hand in the second example the object of preposition is plural which refer to the speaker as we are also using a plural verb where rule 11 when either and neither are subject without or and or a singular verb is required even if seems to be referring to more than one things example neither of them knows about at least latest agriculture issues and concern example either as of is capable on doing embryo transfer in the first examples as a singular verb 
no knows because they comprehending the sentence using the subject neither. It is obvious that it is referring to more than one thing. On the second example, we have the word either to identify the subject. We use a singular verb is. In this situation, the word either is referring to more than one thing like on the situation in number one. Rule number 12. The word here and there have generally, generally been labeled as adverbs, even though they indicate place. Sentence beginning with her or their require verb depending on the number of the noun that come from them. For example, here comes the horticulturist Drew and Jane. And second example, there goes Dan. There goes then forest ranger. In example number one, we have the verb come and the noun horticulturist. On the example number two, a verb here is the word goes and noun is a forest ranger. Rule number 13. Units such as amount, size, time, quantities, or distance always require a singular verb. For example, 50 pesos is a small amount of a kilo of a sweet corn. Second example, four, four, school, four school year is what we need to finish our BSA and BSF degree. For the example number one and number two, we are using a unit to identify the subject, which is amount. The two examples is require a singular verb. So we have here a verb is because each example has a singular subject. For example, in number one, we have a singular subject, 50 pesos. And for the second, we have four years school. Rule number 14. Sometimes the relative Pronounce who, that, or what is the, the subject of a verb in the middle of the sentence. The pronoun who, that, and then which comes singular or plural according to the noun directly in front of them. So, if that noun is singular, use a singular verb. If it plural, use a plural verb. For example, the patrol in the agriculturist who writes the rationale of the thesis. Second example, he is the one of the panelists who were invited to critique our oral defense. So both number one and number two example has a singular noun. Therefore, we are going to use a singular verb. As we can see on the first example in number one, uh, in the first example, uh, we have the noun agriculturalist is referred to the subject patrol, which is also in singular form. And for the example number two, we have the noun panelist. It is referred to the subject he, which is also in singular form. Rule number 15. Collect. Collective noun like team, staff, groups, family, crowd, arm, and etc. require a singular verb. If the member are thought as an acting collectively and plural if the member are thought as an acting separately. For example, the stop is in the meeting for the fast approaching inaug inauguration. Second, the staff member are in the disagreement about the field day schedule, separate and individual. So, for example, number one, we have a singular verb is. While on the second example, we have a singular verb are. As you can see on the example number one, the verb is in singular form because it is directly referred to the staff as a whole while on the second Example, the subject is in the plural form because it's refer to the to each of the staff members. Rule number 16. 
The expression a number of always require a plural verb while the expression the number of always require a singular verb when used a subject. Example number one. A, for, a number of foresters are planning to file a compliant. Example number two. The number of qualified applicants for the agriculture job fear to decrease. So, uh, for the number one, we use the expression a number of. So, therefore, we are going to use a plural verb, are, because the expression refers to the subject, forester, which is the plural form. On the second example, we have the expression the number of. It is referred to the subject qualified applicants. As a whole, so the sub so the subject in is in singular form and it requires a singular verb also. So we have here the singular verb has. Has the third person present tense. Rule number 17. Nouns that always come in the pair pairs like scissor, glasses, shoes, tongs, sleeves, trousers, pliers, pants, shares, etc. are always plural and required a plural verb. Useless, they are introduced by the expression a slash the pair of. On the example number one, we have the noun tongues in which plural form, so therefore we're going to use a plural verb. As we can see on the number one example, we have the verb are. And in the example number two, we have the noun tongues, but it is introduced by the expression the pair of. It make the noun to be in singular form, so we use the singular verb is in the second example. Rule 18. Nouns plural is form but singular is meaning such as mathematics, economics, news, politics, and etc. Require a singular verb. For example, the news about him is not good for his image as an ecological advocate. Second is the mathematics is my favorite subject. Rule numbers 19. Sentence with both positive and negative subject, the verbs should agree with the positive, positive subject. Example, it is the law enforcer, not the laws that needed to be changed. In second example, it is not the farm manager, but the technician who want addition budget. For the example, for the... For this example is, for the example, we have a verb is. Is is known as a state of being verb. State of being verb not express any specific activity or action, but instead descri but describe existence. As you can see, verb is here is following examples is used to agree with a positive subject, subject where the sentence has both positive and negative subject. Rule number 20. Titles, books, movie, songs, etc. required a singular verb. For example, Snow White, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is the first Disney movie. The second, Shakespeare, Romeo, Juliet, Romeo and Juliet has really made a history. For example, number one, we have the subject Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs which belongs to the title of books, movie, so we have a singular verb is is. On the first example, because the subject is singular. On the second example, we have the subject Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, which has belongs to title of books or movies, our singular verb has. We have, we use has as the verb because it is the third Person, singular present tense. Rule number 22. The pronoun you and I always require the base slash plural form of verb even in the case where they refer to the only one person. Example, lastly, you have to submit your project proposal on time or else you will fail. 
Second, I need more time to accomplish the task. So, on the first example, we have the verb submit, which is the base from which is the base form while on the on while we have a verb accomplish which is also in base form. Rule 22. Adjective used as a noun are considered plural and thus require plural verbs. Example, the learned are men of wisdom and principle. Second example, the hand working rip, the produce of their and endeavor. So, for the example number one, we have the adjective learned. And thus, we have a plural verb are, while on the second example, we have the adjective hardworking, which is used as a noun. So, therefore, we have a plural verb produce. Rule 23. The name of a firm or company, although appearing plural, refer a singular verb. Example. Universal Studios is showing the movie Fern Gully, The Lost Rainfor Rainforest Next Month. Second example, Ranola Brothers is a law firm that advocates the protection of virgin for forests. So, on the first subject, uh, on the first example, the subject Universal Studio appear plural but requires a singular verb verb is because the subject is singular and it only refers to the said studio as a whole for the example number two we have the name of the ranola brothers as a subject although it appears plural still it requires a singular verb because the subject is really in singular form the last rule is 24 for the sentence following the inverted order the verb still agree with the subject, regardless of n number of the noun that comes before it. Example, beside me were the illegal logger and dynamite fisher. Second, at the distant lobe, the view of the immensely deforested deforest mountain. For example, number one, we have the verb where were used as a past tense verb in the sentence. As you can see in the verb, still agree with the subject. For example, number two, we have the verb lobe, lobes. And for by comprehending the second example, the verb agree with the, with the subject. That's all. Thank you for watching.